Okay, I just want to demonstrate this problem you're having with stuff moving away from the edge. Now, this is a model I've done. It's got two poly groups. Um, they're separated out. And I have got my subdivision levels in there, as you can see. And nothing is splitting away. Okay, it's all fine. Uh, but what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down to the lowest subdivision level and I'm going to delete higher. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of my projected detail from my torso that I've got here. All right, so um, let's go and split this out. So I'm gonna make a duplicate just to demonstrate this to you and turn this one off. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a group split. So this is like you breaking it into separate subtools, which is what you've done, okay? So at the moment, what you've got is you've got this geometry and it's welded together. Okay, it's welded together, it's not separate. Even though I can press Control Shift and I can isolate certain parts, they are still welded together. And this is why when I subdivide, it stays together. Like this, okay? So what you're having happen, I'm gonna delete higher now on this duplicate, just to get it to its lowest form like you've got in your mesh. Let's just delete higher. And what you've got is you've got it split. So if I go and group split this, click OK, I'm gonna have two groups. I'm gonna have this piece and I'm gonna have this piece, but they are no longer welded together, okay? So even if I merge this down onto this torso, it's not going to be welded together. So let me just show you what happens when I subdivide these separate tools, first of all, okay? So I'm gonna subdivide this torso. And there we go. We've got bits seemingly disappeared. This is because the mesh polishes and it smooths which is what you want. So if you don't want this to happen, you need to put a reinforcing edge around all of these separate pieces if you wanna keep your um, model separate. So I've gone back a couple there, Control Z. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crease it. So let me just go to Solo so you can just see what's gonna happen all of these pieces around these edges. I'm gonna to go to Crease and I'm gonna hit Crease. Watch what happens to this very edge is formed a little line, a little crease. Now what will happen now, if I subdivide, it will not move from that area because there's reinforcing geometry. So let me come out of that and now let me subdivide, Control D, and you can see it's kept it. So if you need to keep it separate, that's how you can do it. If you wanna join it to the geometry, you have gotta make sure the geometry matches up and you can do welding to do this. Okay, you can actually weld and you'll find welding is underneath the modify topology tool and you've got a weld distance. This weld distance is one of these vertices or points to the other. And if you set more, it will spread out further. Okay, so that's welding. You can look on that on Pixelogic's website. But the same thing, because I haven't creased this vest the same thing will happen to this if I divide it. Control D, you can see I've got a space there. It's not disappeared, it's just smoothed it out. Now you could bypass the smoothing, but that wouldn't really help you because you, you're gonna get facets on the model like this. It's not gonna be nice and smooth. So to bypass the smoothing, you can come into the geometry tab here and you can turn off smoothing, smoothing before you divide. Now it's dividing, it's keeping the shape and adding geometry, but you can see it's kept this faceting. So if I go back one now, all I'll do to get these two pieces to match up is crease this and then divide. So if I divide now, oh, let me turn smoothing back on, you're gonna see it will hold that shape against the model. So that is your problem. Now, like I said about the welding, you can weld these pieces as long as the topology matches up. So if I take this back, both of these back to the original, uh, let's come back to this one, down to there. Bring this to the lowest subdivision level.
like that. And because this topology matches the topology of the vest, we can re-weld it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna join these together. So I'm gonna merge this down, merge, merge down, click OK. Now at the moment, they're not welded together, okay? So these are separate because we split it and then we merged it back. So what will happen now if I subdivide is we'll get a little gap between them like you were getting. So the only way to bypass this if you need to have this as one mesh like this is to actually go and weld this point to this point. So to do that, it's really easy because they're over the top of each other. We can go to geometry, modify geometry, weld distance, I'll leave on weld and I'll click weld points. Now, if I subdivide, control D, it's formed perfectly. And I can keep subdividing. Now the other way around it, if you've got sub separate tools, is to actually dynamesh them together. So you've got this low topology like this, and you can just turn on the dynamesh down here, like at about 32, and then I can dynamesh this, and it will become one mesh. Might need to bring this up a bit, get it a bit higher, and there we go, that's now one mesh. But of course, I'd have to go over and smooth all this out. And then I'd have to retopologize it as well. So that's what you're doing wrong there is it's not, you haven't creased the edges or you haven't welded the topology together. And that's what's causing your problem. And if you haven't got close edges, it will actually smooth it and push it down. So when you said it's disappeared, it hasn't disappeared. Nothing's disappeared. It's just pushed out of position because of the smoothing that happens inside ZBrush. So hopefully this helps you and um, yeah, it sorts your problem out.